This is Win News. Tonight, health fears continue to grow in the Latrobe Valley. The Deputy Premier promises to aid Morwell's recovery. And support for the Gippsland victim of the Middle Park explosion. Good evening, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, a boost for manufacturing jobs in Trafalgar. Victoria's Chief Health Officer is urging Morwell residents to stay out of the smoke where possible. Extra resources have been put in to meet rising demand at the Free Health Assessment Centre in the town. It's been 19 days since fire spread to the Hazelwood open cut and Victoria's Chief Health Officer is still waiting for international advice. We are, as you'll appreciate, dealing with a relatively unique situation with um, smoke which is burning in a coal, in a coal mine just adjacent, directly adjacent to the community. Dr Rosemary Lester is urging residents to stay out of the smoke where possible. We do remain concerned about the level of uh, smoke in the air. The levels have been very high and continue to be very high. So that is still um, significant concern to us. Today, authorities doubled the capacity of Morwell's Health Assessment Centre. At this point, we've, expa we've uh, expanded to six full-time staff in that area, plus a manager to help with patient flows. But we've certainly got capacity to expand it further if required. More than 500 people have so far utilised the free service, 60 this morning. And that's in comparison to yesterday when we had about 40, so certainly the expansion was needed. But La Trobe Regional Hospital maintains it hasn't seen an increase in presentations. We've probably got only about five more presentations a day than we would have had over the February period in 2013. It's a different story for GPs. Some of the GPs are reporting increases in respiratory cases, um, but only, nothing too significant and nothing that they can't handle. The forecasters say there will be some reprieve for more residents tomorrow, but the easterly winds are expected to put pressure on those fighting the fires. We have two hour rotations with them and, uh, and also uh, we monitor their health in the mine. Uh, yesterday we had uh, numerous hours out of the mine because uh, the weather conditions, uh, we just couldn't operate. Reticulated water systems have been installed on both the northern and southern batters, while crews from interstate are continuing to use compressed air foam to suppress the fire. We're concentrating on the northern batter to uh, minimise the smoke uh, uh, and the ash, uh, especially for more. Authorities hope more progress will be made before another two difficult days next Tuesday and Friday. Brooke Van Newton, Win News. Meanwhile, Gippsland Water is reassuring its business and residential customers smoke from recent fires has not affected the quality of its drinking water. However, the corporation says it has introduced a number of measures to safeguard supplies. Gippsland Water's treated water storages are protected by floating covers which stop airborne debris such as ash coming into contact with treated water. It says it will continue to monitor drinking water quality as the fire continues to burn. And work has begun to establish a register of holiday homes available to offer respite to Morwell residents. The Deputy Premier has also indicated several projects may be fast-tracked in a bid to aid recovery. For Morwell residents, clear blue skies and fresh air are a distant memory. The state government today charged La Trobe City, Destination Gippsland and Tourism Victoria with formulating a register to connect holiday homeowners with Morwell residents in need of a break from the smoke. The intention is to develop a system whereby uh, basically we can have the people who wish to make their homes available uh, register the availability of their properties and on the other hand we can marry them with people who wish to take advantage of the opportunity of uh, some respite. The scheme is likely to be in place by early next week with the state government footing the cost of its implementation. As to whether it is only confined uh, to private residences or whether there are other facilities which are able to be brought into play, uh, that is part of what the Council Tourism Victoria and Destination Gippsland is exploring. Meanwhile, the Deputy Premier says he's offered to fast-track La Trobe City initiatives already in the pipeline once the fire is extinguished. The government stands ready to bring forward a uh, variety of projects that I know the Council has under consideration for the future of the La Trobe Valley more generally and uh, I will be working very closely with them. We will use the uh, Regional Growth Fund and other forms of funding. In particular projects aimed at reinvigorating the small business sector. On the reports we have available 
is suffering a downturn to the tune of uh, in the order of 20% to 50% on their cash flows. Uh, and as happens when these events occur and uh, when they've historically occurred in Victoria, uh, this imposes enormous pressure upon those uh, small businesses. Shadow Treasurer Tim Pallas visited Morwell this afternoon and he took the opportunity to label the government as dysfunctional for its chaotic response to the fire and for failing to give residents and businesses enough support. Anita Butterworth, Win News. Pay up, Hazelwood's operator asked to contribute to the cost of the firefight and its open cut. Now with the rest of today's news, the state government may ask the operator of the Hazelwood power station to help pay for the ongoing firefight at its open cut mine. It's also launched an investigation into fire precautions at the mine amid allegations that proper maintenance procedures weren't followed. And while authorities insist the ongoing smoke hazard in Morwell doesn't justify evacuation, as Jessica Longbottom reports, insurance companies are taking a different view. A layer of dust coats everything in Lisa Dawley's Morwell South home. Since the fire started 19 days ago, she's been diagnosed with ulcerated sinuses. One daughter's asthma has worsened, while her youngest has had severe nosebleeds. It was in the middle of the night um, and she woke up with blood all over her face and her pillowcase. At first I was like, I don't know what's what's caused this and then I realised that this has got to have something to do with the with the fire, with the mine, with the toxic, toxic substances in the air. She rang her insurer who agreed to pay for the family to stay at a motel in a nearby town. Since then her family's health problems have gone. Within an hour we were in emergency accommodation and it was a huge relief. This is what's causing the health hazard. Firefighters are hopeful it could be extinguished in weeks, but the former head of the mine's fire team says it should already be out. Even though I haven't been down the mine, I know something's wrong because it's, it's not getting any better. As a matter of fact, it's getting worse. Bill Brown believes there's fewer specially trained staff and less firefighting infrastructure at the mine than when he left in 1998. But the mine's owner refutes the claims. A spokesperson for GDF Sewers says the mine's fire prevention policy is better than ever before. It says it employs 30 staff in the area as well as additional contractors and that its fire plan is regularly audited by the state government. Despite that, the government will investigate. Uh, those are issues which quite properly uh, can be and will be examined in the fullness of time once we get this thing out. It also says GDF sewers may have to pay for some of the firefighting effort. As for evacuating all residents, health authorities say they will do so immediately if there's evidence of long-term health risks. Jessica Longbottom, ABC News, Morwell.